Hi there, you guys. I just bought this painting program, or I guess comic making program, called Metabang Paint Pro. Um, I've got Clip Studio Paint. I've been using it for a while, but it hasn't really been working out that well for me. Um, it's really laggy and hard to draw in. Like, it, everything moves really slowly, and it's really frustrating compared to somebody who's been using Psy for a long time. Um, Start it up here. Metabang is made by the same people who made Fire Alpaca, or Fire something, and I remember I downloaded that a while ago. I didn't really care for it, but it was free. This is free. Um, start it up here. You can sign up and like do something with the cloud. I haven't signed up for that yet, but I thought I've had this for like eight hours maybe. I downloaded it at like three o'clock last night, and I played with it a little bit. And I really like it. The first thing I'll notice is compared to Clip, it draws really smoothly. Just like in Psy. It's like, it, there's no lagginess or anything like that. Um, I guess I'm just going to go along and state the pros and the cons that i found so far. First of all, the first pro is there isn't this weird lagginess like in Clip. Like, I, I can just draw anything that I want and not have to worry about it going like, yeah, like clip does. Um, stabilizer works a lot like Psy. You sort of have to play with this a little bit if you're not used to it, but I think I'll get used to this really fast. Um, right, I guess I'm going to go... I haven't done anything with the tones yet or anything, but it looks like they have a lot of tones. And you just go to materials, there's all your stuff. Tiles, tones, items, all sorts of stuff. I don't know if you can import anything from Clip, but that would be nice. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say the problems that I have with it. First of all, first of all is the brush. You have this little bar, and most programs have a little bar where you hit the percentage, but it doesn't have the little dots. And like normally there's like a one, a two, a da 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 da, -da all down in here, but it doesn't have that, and it's a little bit annoying because I usually use that instead of the slider. But it's not really a huge problem. Um, it has a G pen, like clip does. And I guess this is the only thing I've found that has texture so far. And unlike everything else, you can't put any sort of texture on your pens that I've found so far. Like you can get this little oozy effect and that's pretty much it for the time being. Um, then the lasso tool. I found that if you lasso something, Everything else is purple, and your selection is white. Maybe I can change that, maybe not, but it's really annoying compared because everything else colors the selection. Um, all the controls are the same as I, like Control-Z, um, Control-S, all that stuff. Uh, only thing that's weird is you have to hit Control-Shift-Plus to zoom in, whereas in all other programs you just have to hit Control-Plus, which that's a little weird. Um, the biggest problem I found is the text editor. There is no text box. You type into this thing, um, and then it just sort of appears on the screen. Like, you can't go in and move it around while this is still up. Um, you can't do any of that. I don't know why they wouldn't put a text box in here if they're obviously making the program that is going to have a lot of stuff in it that needs that's text-based. Um, besides that, really, there's a lot of just little tiny things that bother me about it, but really drawing in it is so much easier. I would say if you really want to go and make comics with this, you might just want to go ahead and find a clip when it's on sale. Um, it usually goes on sale about four times a year and just buy it then and draw in this. You can save PSD and then just import that in a clip and then do like text and speech bubbles and stuff in clip because it's a lot easier in there. It's just drawing that sucks in clip. But um, yeah, I think if they just, I think with a few more updates, if they just add those few simple things, maybe I should just like draw in here and show you guys. I do like that they have a, um, you know, something very similar to a marker inside, but where is it? Yeah, whatever. Um, but 
yeah, I'm really liking it so far. I definitely want to continue using it, and maybe I'll find a solution to the problems that I found. And I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a thing that exists, and if you don't have the money to buy Clip Studio Paint, because most of the time it's like $200 or like $50 or something for the X and the Pro versions, um, this is an alternative you can use for comic making, and it looks pretty promising. I definitely think that if they just, especially the text editor, if they just go and fix the text thing and put an actual text box in here, I think that would make it so much better. Like, I would probably use this over clip, except for maybe a little bit of toning and stuff. Yeah, as you can see, it draws very normally. Um, the eraser, I thought, was a little bit weird. It's just, like, a little bit slow. If that makes any sense. That's not really a big problem. Yeah, I, I'm really liking this. And I would say that you should definitely go download it and give it a try, even if you do use Clip a lot, because I think with a few updates, this will definitely be something worth um, checking out if you want to make your own comics, like manga and whatnot. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching this, and I hope you got something out of it as far as MetaBang Pro goes. MetaBang Paint Pro goes. Um, yeah, see you next time. Thank you.